What's up guys? Welcome back to Overwatch. Yeah, what's up guys? Welcome back. Huh? And um I'm going to do something a little different this episode. I'm going to do this new thing on my Overwatch series where I get two heroes or characters that are like in a few ways and we're just going to compare them. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to do this after every other gaming episode where you actually see me game. I'm going to do like a comparison compare win episode people might not like it but I don't really care what they like but that being said for this episode first we got Torbjorn versus Symmetra yes we're gonna compare these two in the first episode and uh, we are going to compare them through five categories those five categories are category one basics Speed, damage, you know, all that good fun stuff. Health, just the basics. Category 2. Abilities slash powers. Category 3. Teamwork. Oh, I didn't save that guy in time. Hey, he's alive again. What's up, buddy? Category 4. Map pressure slash map control slash map ha pressure slash map whatever. Nice. If you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Option five, situational. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> nice. I hope you guys enjoyed me telling you the five categories. Let's start off this comparison between these two. With category one, basic. This is going to take out damage and speed. And if somehow we got tied between those, I'm going to do a special third thing in the basic category. So I have Torbjorn, because I like him more. Damage. These guys have about 200 health, I believe. Me, Two shot them, but, 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 if you do this, I think this takes like what, four hits? Three hits. My bad. And then we got this, which, how is this, how, how is this shot more powerful? How does that one hit him? Thing is, most of the time you're going to be using this shot. I'm using right now for like that. And you'll be using this shot for like this. So it's not always gonna hit in the head. But you know, sometimes it will. And also he we have his hammer! How can we forget about this hammer? This hammer, cl clearly, the most powerful weapon in all of Overwatch. This hammer, but this is the most powerful weapon in all of Overwatch. Don't, don't deny it, man. Even freaking Doomfist's gauntlet cannot beat his hammer. He has the hammer of the gods. Now let's go to Symmetra and see what she has when it comes to basics damage. Now, Symmetra is very much similar in Torbjorn in this way, like in many ways. Uh, because she also has two shots. She got this shot, if you charge up. Two hits. I thought I missed for a sec. And then we do the body. Two hits. And also, I, I, I think this hits multiple targets, but I'm not sure. I think it. I think that's explosive damage. I'm gonna go. Ch Ow! I just got hit. How? But I think this is explosive damage. Let me see. It does, but not to the extent of Torbjorn. And as you just saw right there, well, I just eliminated that guy. Huh. We have. The uh, laser, which look at this, it's, it's not that good in my opinion. The laser, I mean, it's fine, it's, it's a laser, that's what every other laser does in this game. Nothing that special, 
You're not gonna be using the laser that much, I don't think. Cause I mean, yeah, there's that. But she doesn't have the god hammer. Oh my god, guys, she doesn't have the god hammer. Upsetting. Very upsetting. I can't believe she doesn't have the god hammer. I hope she have the god hammer buff. And yeah. There they are when it comes to damage. Alright. I completely forgot that this right here, when I was like double checking to make sure I got it all. This does Tracer, I'm trying to record a video here, thank you. Have you got something done? The right. spread of this isn't it, exactly yourself. good either. Like like the spread of his little thing isn't as good either when it comes to uh hitting multiple people at once. But in my opinion, at least I think it is more damage than she does. If you want something done right, you gotta Now, with all of that being done and said for, you know Stammy Tracer? With all that being done and said for, I weakness. think the winner, or at least the damage bit of the basic category, uh. is... ba 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 What's up? ba 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 It is... Torbjörd. Now, Break em down. and it's not because of the hammer, but <laughs> death by hammer is really cool. But it is something. It's this. As you can see, his fire weight is way faster than hers. Because you have to hold down for a long time. But with him, his fire weight is a lot faster. And his damage and hers are pretty equal. But, first off, this, if you go all the way back here, has more range and you can reach both of them at the same time, as you can see. So yeah, when it comes to the damage part of the basic category, Torbjörn wins! Okay, up next for the basic category is speed. So I'm going to run around the entire map with him and Symmetra. Was, yeah, and I'm gonna see who's faster. I got my stopwatch, and we're gonna see who wins. Race starts in three, two, one. Okay, as you can see, I, it feels like I'm walking very slow as him. And I'm gonna do the exact same path I do for him. I'm gonna just go and do for uh, Symmetra. Exact same path. Okay. But I'm debating if I should let Symmetra use her teleportation thing or not. I don't think so. I'm gonna let her use it. But if I have to, I will. And yeah. As you can see, very pace. It's a pace. That's for sure. I'm not gonna say it was a good or bad pace. But it's definitely a pace I'm going at right now. I'm gonna make her do all the same paste as well exact same pace he's doing she's gonna do and this is as fast I'm going guys I'm, this is me running okay and 56 seconds no wait yeah 56 seconds yeah it took me 56 seconds seconds to do all of that uh, I mean, it sucks, but then again, uh, have you seen Hello. my guy's statue? He's a small guy, and he's kind of chubby. So, I'm just surprised he didn't reach an entire minute, but, yeah, I missed that. Uh, that was a, well, that was a long time, 56 seconds. Jeez! Yeah, hit him. Time for Symmetra. Okay, it's her turn now. I hope... She doesn't take 56 seconds. And I have decided to not use this. Because that's one of her abilities slash powers. And we'll get to that in a little bit. So, yeah. Time for her. God, I hope she doesn't take 56 seconds. Alright. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, what do you? I feel a bit faster, not gonna lie. 
I feel, I feel a little bit faster. Just, just a little bit faster. Then again, if you see her body compared to Torbjorn's, it's no wonder that she feels faster, but is she faster? Is she faster? That is the question on everybody's little or big mind, depending on how smart you are. By now, I think I was already at the 35 second mark, I believe. Uh, at least my play is Torbjorn. Made the jump, thank god. <laughs> thank god I made the job jump. Thank god. Okay, we are almost there. We are almost there. And time. 55 seconds. Ooh, 55 seconds. I think that means she is faster. Nice. She's, and I didn't even have to use these. But I could have if I wanted to, because technically it helps with speed. But I didn't have to, did I? No, I did not. So yeah, she wins in speed by just a second. A fraction of a second. So Mestra wins by speed. Well, uh, time for the third and final bit for the basic category. Let's see who wins the first category. Okay, guys. It is the third and final thing for the category. Basic. And this has to do with the health. It, it's, it's very simple. It's just health. I mean, if you look, she is 225. And Torbjorn. I'm not even going to cut in the video. So I'm just going to have splits and cuts. I'm just going to go here. He got, she got 225. He got 250. 250 compared to 225. Well, that's, I think that has the ending of category 1. Who has uh, about a health? Torbjorn. Not to mention, his stature makes him very hard to hit. I'm hitting like a peel half the time. I somehow hit that, okay. But you know what I mean. Actually. Just go over here and but look how small he is. When you're shooting, you're shooting over him half the time. So yeah. Category one basics goes to Fighting the Bellows. Oh I could have used this. By the way, I just wanna point out I could've used that. It goes to Torbjorn, but I just wanna point out I didn't use the teleporter. But when I use Torb, I could have. Oh, I'm gonna get Tracer back. She's the main character, at least. I, I could have used this, which Sonic fast. But the winner of category one is Torbjorn. Look, look how happy he is. He won category one. He, he is just the happiest person around. Time for category two. Powers and abilities are category two. So I'm off with Symmetra. First off, her. First off, her. Uh, uh, that's weird. My thing started firing for no reason. First off, we have her. I hit accidentally. Great. First off, we have, of course, a little teleporter, which is very handy. It's, it's, it's like you can go around places quickly. Hey, I'm on the thing. Oh god. Ow. You can get away with places. Like, let's say you're being chased. You're like, you're surrounded by like 50 lion hearts or something. You just go heal. You're safe. And you can be mean and just destroy it. And then we got the, the main reason we are comparing these two the freaking. Online. Now you can only do three, which sucks, you know, beforehand. I believe you could have done like infinity of them before the change happens. But now you can only do three. And as you can see, very good range. You can do what I'm doing right now and just stretch them out and kill multiple people at once. Or you could be a little mean person and just do this and just focus on one person. And, and just make them hate life. 
and with Griffin playing Overwatch, which is what most uh, Metro players do, they just do this. That's what most of them do. It's, this is it. But her turrets are very powerful. They do a butt ton of damage. Believe it or not. And it also gives you a uh, notification. Like, let's say I'm over here. Oh, t tells me that they're in danger. So, yeah. Hey, did you just shoot me, sir? Shame on you. But, yeah. Those turrets are very helpful. Along with the teleportation. It's gonna be hard for Torb to beat. And then, of course, we have... Shield thing. It makes it impossible for them to get through. But the thing is, it only lasts like 10 seconds. But those 10 seconds could be crucial. I just saved these two guys. Okay, I, I just... I died. Come on, I shot two of them at you. Die. There we go. But yeah, the thing is, with the ultimate, it only lasted for like 10 seconds. And, uh... Well, I saved you, homie. You're alive. And my things over there are just st still killing people. All according to plan. And I think the drawbacks is you can only put three of those. The shield thing lasts about 10 seconds, and this can be destroyed by the enemy team. That's the only drawbacks. She so got some cons, got some pros, can be pretty hard to beat. Let's go on to Torbjorn. Double kill. Nice. You were not meant for greatness. Up next, we have Torbjorn, who, well, I mean, first off, Elephant was a god's power, but it's not as good as it used to be before. You could do this, level it up. Now, you just heal it, which, I mean, yeah, originally he was OP, but the heck, how good is this thing's aim? Shooting up there? Okay. Dang, must have a very long range. But yeah, that, that's it. Uh, you, you used to have like missiles and 50 guns on it. But now you don't. And this is, is like the other ones, turrets, but it has a longer range. But you can like, post one. I mean, I wish you could like make more of them. Like three or two or something, but you can't. And then you got which helps the speed. And I can't tell if it helps out with the damage. I have no idea if this does help out with the damage or not. But it makes him faster. It does that. Time to let off For like five speed. seconds he gets faster and he gets more health. He gets an extra hundred health. That's really good. A man getting an extra hundred health. And he gets faster. I don't know if there's more damage. And then of course. We have this stays for a while and it's very good for, like look at this he can if my turret stopped killing people they could just walk into it it stays for like a good 20 seconds the uh, molten core stays for a good 20 seconds i think i don't know but i think it does so yeah they both came with some very good things Torbjorn more aggressive and Symmetra not as aggressive. But I can't tell if this thing right here upgrades your damage. I mean, it only lasts like, what, five seconds? Look how long this thing lasts. Yeah, that thing lasts for three seconds. I mean, it's good for like the planning. Like, look, now if he walks in here, you know, he's gonna get damaged by that. So, I mean, that's good. But it only lasts like five seconds. Yeah. So the winner, it's category two, is it's Torbjorn. I mean, this thing that's better than a teleporter. And uh, Symmetra's turrets, they have range, sure, but not as good as his. And also the damage, I don't believe is as good as his. I don't believe so, at least. So yeah, and I'm making a super move. If you put that stuff everywhere on the map for the five seconds you got it, it's pretty helpful. Slide. Yeah, he, Torbjorn, wins Turning up some the more points with freaking uh, the second one. 
And he, he, he just stands there. Uh, hold up. What the heck was that? And he's ready to put up a fight for the third category. I like that. Next. Teamwork is the name of category three. And, uh, she has some pretty good things. First of all, she got the teleporter. That's a hundred percent teamwork. Alright. I mean, that's really good. And her shield, which I'm gonna try to get right now. Okay. But you know, as I'm here, I better actually show you guys why I put it for Bjorn with better abilities and powers than her. Because if you look right here, they don't do as much damage. Not even close to enough damage as Torbjorn's. Finally. That maybe they were all lock locking onto a separate target. Hold on. Uh, what the heck? Now let me find a single version. Double kill. I mean, like, it takes them forever to kill them, though, so, yeah. I think my choice last time was correct. And yeah, Tobia has better abilities and powers. But she has this. Oh yeah, you, you can flip it as well. I mean, this, this is big teamwork right now. This is big, big teamwork right now. Good defense. Shields in this game are really good. Then we got this. And if you on a microphone, you can plan somewhat. You can plan some strategy with uh, her little stupid turrets. So yeah, you can plan some strategy with them at least. If you're on comms, microphone, whatever, talking to a team. So yeah, she's a lot of things going for her. Let's see if Torbjorn can get a third category in the bag. Alright, let's see what he got. Can I put my toe in here? I can. I wonder if he can... Yep, his range is going up to fire on all of them down there. There's one up here that he can kill. Now that, that alone, that, that is, in my opinion, equal to a teleporting. Because, I mean, you don't even have to be on comms to do teamwork with this thing. Some people's teamwork is 100% relied on the toy. I mean, yeah, uh, Symmetra, teleporter's fine. But, oh my god, this thing has big range. But I mean, like those Tracer who's fast, Genji can like go super fast in with Lucio. And Samba can go fast in invisible mode. So yeah, I think this beats her, uh, her, um, teleporter. Barely though. Barely. But then we have this. Which, which, uh, is it good for teamwork? I mean, kind of. Because your team can walk through it, but eh. And this isn't helpful at all when it comes to teamwork. I can't make a case for this. So yeah. So we have his turret basically, versus her shield and teleporter. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Oh my god, this thing really does do a lot of damage. Dang. The winner of category 3 is... Sir Metra, of course it is. Look at her saying there, she's proud. She's like, yes, I'm the best at teamwork. L look at her, she's just sitting there, being all happy and stuff. She wins category three, but can she win category four though? Which is map pressure. Now, map pressure and map control are similar but different. Okay, and I feel like these two are more in map control and less map pressure. Because, like, really, map pressure is, like, supposed to do something to the enemy team, either, like, scare them, or get them ready, or suspense, or whatever. But, I mean, first off, My teleporter is online. the enemy team ain't gonna be afraid of that. They're gonna be like, oh, right, let's counter that position. But, what I would think really does it right now is, what, what? Uh. Nice. What I think does it is these. Because this map the control, look like this. You can cut off an entire room by these things. Just an entire womb. Like that. Aw. I think I must clicked and destroyed it accidentally. 
But look at this. If you place these strategically, like, I don't know, one there. One there. And one there. Boom, you got the entire room clear. And nobody can use it. And that map control, boy, that's some powerful stuff. You can cut off a whole thing of the map. Then we have her alt. You literally cut the map in half. If that's not no, map place. control, I don't know what it is. And it has some map pressure. Because the enemy team has to be like, oh shoot, I gotta get around that. But the thing is, they can literally just walk through the sh They can literally just walk through the shield. And uh, finally this they kill the something. Order of so yeah, I mean her shield, they can just walk through it, but you really cut the map in half. I mean, that, that's some good map control right there. I mean, you're literally just cutting it right in half. And these can cut off entire areas of the map. So, yeah. She got a pretty good case going for her. Besides the teleporter. I mean, I guess helps with map control. Kind of. Kind of helps with map control. You can like teleport around the area. You can be very control of like where your team is going, where you're going. But the thing is, if the enemy team knows where the teleporters are, you, you could just like get demolished. Huh? Aww. Well, <laughs> I didn't mean that to happen, but yeah. You can use your teleporters, I guess, in a way to teleport around the map, of course, but like. You can like use it like all the way across the map. I don't even know how far the distance is you on these things so I think the distance on how far you can place them is like mid range, I'm pretty sure. Like I don't think I can get all the way to those whalings over there. Yeah. This is this is the range. Medium decent range in my opinion. Very medium, very decent range. There's not far. But yes, map oh, control. She alright. Let's see what Tor Beyond got. Tell it. <laughs> Dang, you can really throw that thing, can't you? Yeah, tell it. That, that really scares the enemy team. The second they know there's a turret, they will get away from the healers and they will just try to kill this freaking turret. Of how freaking possible it is to deal with. But yeah, this thing's map control, map push is really good. The second you know there's a turret. Unlike some uh, metros where you just know not to go in that room, you can't hide from this thing. And I mean, this is okay. You can be fast and take an extra hundred damage, which is whatever. And I mean, this thing, if you place it correctly, you can make a big lane of death. But there's this cool mechanic called jumping, and you can just jump over the lava. So yeah. But the lava, if you use it correctly, can be very powerful. Very, very powerful. And then you have the Yeet Toad. Let's see who wins the fourth category. Symmetra wins category four. I'm trying to make her look awesome, but she, she's not doing There you go. She wins category who four. Knows what the future holds? Cause I mean, her literally cutting the map in half and being super fast with the teleport while I think about it is pretty good. And her toes can like just completely just cut off the map and her super move can cut off the map. So yeah, her little, uh, uh, so. turrets and everything else mixed together. Yeah, she, she wins this category. But that turret made it very hard. Let's see who wins the final category, which is basically what this is it's um it has to more it's like how much of skill and luck does it take like some heroes or some characters are much more luck than skill base which sucks oh boy, I should probably tell you the name of this category ha which is situational but yeah, basically it's how situational they are and how in some areas they're better than others. Let's start with Torb. First off, if, you, if I go up here, he can mow down those two and Tracer. Oh my god, did he? Did that one hit Tracer? Wow. 
Uh, I'm just gonna put somebody else there. There you go. Hey, you take a few hits, hopefully. But yeah, this is very situational based on the map. But at least everywhere in a map has a good cheeky area where you can place a turret and it can just load. And then we have this, which is also very situational. I mean, this, this, this sucks. This sucks, I don't know why he has the ability on it, you think about it. Doing this comparison. And then we got this, which is kind of more of a sniper, I guess. Most of a map base. And this. I play a kill streak. Let's go. I killed my heart finally. Wow, okay. But yeah. His uh, turret is very good on mostly every map. I should point that out. Because whatever map, there's either like a specific high place like that or it's a check to the guy get to and it's in a tight corner it's, or not tight corner but tight hallway speaking of tight things and tight hallways this is what this is good for it's good for tight hallways that's it it's, it's good for really tight hallways so that and the hallway is basically ungettable instead of doing your team and we have your tail, which is good on every single map. <laughs> I think. I now let's see how Symmetra has got up in her belt. <laughs> she only, does she have a belt? Let me just see right here. I don't, I don't think she has a belt. Just, does she have a belt? The well, true I, enemy of humanity she does not have sword. a belt. Well, let's see what she got. First off, her turrets. Or not her turrets. Her teleporter. teleporter is it, it, it's... I mean, the enemy team kind of, when you use it. Now, when it comes to, like, I before, of either luck or strategy, that is very much luck. It all depends if somebody finds it or not. Can I hit him from here, I wonder? Most likely, she got that range. Yep. Barely any damage, though. But, yeah, this completely de depends on luck if somebody finds it or not. Then, you have... Boop. Then, you have these. Which are very, very good. It completely depends where you place them. Like, look at this. This man, I guarantee when he walks back out, he won't be able to come back in. Watch. See? Told ya. So, yeah. Th th these kind of suck. But her turrets are really good when it comes to, like, situations. Like, like let's say there's a point. Right, like, like right here. And it's being captured. Th throw turrets in there. Boom, you your team basically captured the point. Because then the enemy team would have to stop by fighting you. Your wide heart leading to charge, turn around, and kill your turrets. That is if your turrets actually didn't kill them yet. Yeah, if your turrets didn't kill them yet, they have to turn around just psh, and just psh, and a psh, 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 psh. Psh, 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 psh. I'm not if you guys can pick that up over the microphone. Psh, <laughs> I have no idea how that comes up on the microphone. Probably sounds stupid. I know I do. But yeah, that can make him break a game right there. Then we have this. Which, I mean. Then we have this, which is, you know. It's, uh. I'm not gonna really say, like, strategy lot. This is just put the big water between you and the other team, they can just walk through it. But yeah. These toes can make and break the game. That's luck if somebody finds it. So for the final and fifth category, let's see who wins this comparison. First one on my channel. And let's see who it is. Torbjorn wins. Was there ever really any doubt? M maybe. Maybe some of you are like, what? No. You don't say. Of course Torbjorn freaking wins. And other people out there are like, what? No, uh, 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 no, no, that's not true. S Symmetra clearly wins because her toe is like better and she's like a better super move and blah, 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 blah. But according to the categories that I've done here, Torbjorn and his little baby toe, it's win. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to. Here we go. But yeah, he wins overall. 
now in the comments if you think she wins let me know let me know how you think she wins in this because it's all purely opinion based and some facts but some mostly opinion and uh yeah Tobia wins and for that being said like comment and subscribe share this to everybody you know and peace out <laughs>